Hi, this is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. I want to talk to you about one of my very favorite films, a deeply subversive examination of the myth of America and the ways religion is misused to maintain that myth. Um, it's a film that has informed my worldview, uh, that has informed my work, that has affected the way I live and the way I think and the way I sleep. I, I love this film. I'm only exaggerating a little bit. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies. It's... Um, it opens on the naked ass of a young boy, and it closes on a young girl getting crippled. So obviously we're in Disney turf here. Uh, this is easily my favorite live action Disney film, and there are some great ones, but this is Pollyanna. Okay, first things first, full disclosure, I came to Haley Mills a little bit late in the game. I had good reason. Uh, when I was about 10 or 11, a friend of my mother's uh, looked at me and commented charmingly that I looked just like the actress Haley Mills. Now, I grew up in a much more brutish and less enlightened time. I think uh, kids today could probably handle that much better than I did. But it pissed me off, man, it, and it freaked me out. Uh, and I kind of did look like Haley Mills, so it took me a while to come around to her. But anyway, uh, I am now an unabashed fan, and looking at her reminds me of my childhood, so there you go. Uh, this was Haley Mills' American debut. Her first movie was the previous year's Tiger Bay, which is a great little English thriller that she uh, appeared in with her father, John Mills. It's worth looking for. I think Criterion Channel's got it. Uh, but Pollyanna is based on a uh, huge, successful book, actually a series of books, uh, but the first was the 1913 novel by Eleanor Porter. Uh, and the books um, I've tried, they're uh, more than a little sentimental and sweet. Um, but the film actually overcomes that. Uh, David Swift, who had been a TV director up until this, uh, made his feature debut. Uh, he wrote it and directed it. It was not common for Disney to use writer-directors at the time. Um, Swift also did Parent Trap and How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, both of which are great. Um, and, and if you haven't seen them, uh, check them out after you see Pollyanna. But I have a personal soft spot for Pollyanna, uh, even though those are very worthy films. The movie is steeped in the imagery and iconography of that pure Disneyfied Americana that the company has spent... Um, billions of dollars trying to recreate at Disneyland. And uh, at the same time, it kind of upends your expectations about that era and about that version of America, while somehow staying true to the simple and optimistic spirit of the book. And it does it, first of all, by the great performances, you incredible actors. Uh, but it's also very, very subversive because uh, as much as it loves the America it's trying to recreate, it understands the contradictions and the hypocrisies of that era. Um, Carl Malden plays a priest in the film. He's the kind of priest that hilariously the uh, Carl Malden character and on the waterfront would certainly have despised. Every Sunday, this guy preaches sermons of fire and damnation. Uh, but it takes a little Pollyanna with her cheerful, optimistic, and generous spirit and outlook on life to straighten the cranky judgmental priest out and from that seed uh, a kind of uh, warmth and decency starts to come out of the people in the town that had maybe not quite been there before and uh, that people were afraid to show um, so the fact that the film actually kind of takes many shots at the America that it portrays is, is kind of lovely, and it's what makes the film work. Um, as I said, it's an incredible cast. You've got Gene Wyman, Richard Egan, Nancy Olsen, Adolf Manju, Agnes Moorhead, the great Edward Platt, uh, Kevin Corcoran, and many, many, many others. Um, these just phenomenal character actors just pop up constantly to come and flesh out the little town. Uh, it's, it's not what you think. It really isn't. And I'm fascinated by the many ways the film manages to sidestep all the traps that a film version of Pollyanna would certainly have laid for the filmmakers. It's, uh, it's a shockingly good film and uh, cannot recommend it enough. Wow.